Hi, this is Angie Monko, Life Coach for Intuitive Women Leaders. And today I wanna to talk to you about a tip to be an inner leader. And you've probably heard the saying, know thyself. So that's what I'm referring to. Because when we don't know ourselves and we rely on other people to mirror back to us who we are and what, what our value is and our worth, uh, then their opinion becomes more important of us than our own. And that's where we get into some tricky territory um, because if their opinion of you means more than your opinion of yourself, it's a recipe for confusion. Um, the thing is, and this has been hard for me too, that some people are not gonna like you or me some of the time. It doesn't matter what we do or how hard we try, they're just not going to. They don't drive with us. And it's not, it's not a personal thing at all. And so it's really critical to be aware of our own strengths and our own struggles. And even when people are saying things about us that we don't agree with, to know that we can trust our own intuition. This is what I mean by practicing self-awareness. So here's one tip to do that. It's one of my favorite things, that, and I'm looking at my personal life and saying, well, how do I practice self-awareness? My number one tip is to journal. And, and so every day I have a journal practice, it's only five minutes, but I sit down, I have my favorite journal, and I'm able to just write down what I'm feeling for five minutes. And that just brings up things for me that, that I'm not usually aware of until I do get it written down. So that's my number one tip to practice self-awareness is to journal what you think and what you feel. And it's not usually flowery. <clears throat> it's usually more vulnerable. For the more gratitude type items, I have a gratitude journal, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> so thank you much. Thank you so much. Uh, this is Angie Monko, Life Coach for Intuitive Women Leaders.